In today's video, we're going to look at a brand new battery generator called Leoc. Now this is said to be the largest unit you can buy in the market today, and everything about this unit is very different. It's got a design that looks more like a gaming PC, or maybe even the Stealth Bomber. But whatever it has on the outside, we're concerned with what it can do for you. So I'm going to take a look at this unit in detail, put it through a series of tests, and help you decide if it's something you want to consider for yourself. The first thing you'll notice is the Leoc is a big unit, but it puts out a full 2000 watts of power with 2048 watt hours of running time. Now that's a lot of power and a fairly compact package, but fortunately they did include a handle and a set of roller wheels on the back so that you can get it around very easily. The other feature I love are the batteries themselves. They're actually lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now that's a big upgrade and they'll last a lot longer with up to 3000 charge cycles. The Leoc has a simple display in the front, but additionally it's got cooling vents in the front and the back, so this should be good for the design to allow pass-through cooling. Using the Leoc is easy, just hold the power button down for 2 seconds until the front display turns on. Now the display just has basic information, but it should be what you need to use the unit effectively. All of your power outputs are on the front of the unit. Now this is ideal if you're going to build it in. They've given you a lot of them. You've actually got six USB outlets that include standard along with fast charging ports and even two USB-C ports. But you've also got two DC ports and a cigarette style outlet. But lastly you've got four AC outlets that can handle up to 2000 watts each. They say this thing can run tools and heavy duty loads, so this shop vac is perfect, draws about 1100 watts and its startup drawer is even more. But when I plugged it in and turned it on, everything worked just like it was plugged on the wall. Now vacuums usually will not work off a battery generator without tripping some sort of a safety. But you can see that this thing is drawing 1100 watts and it's running just fine. Now for my next test I wanted to do another appliance with a big startup load. Now air conditioners don't draw a lot of power when they're running but it's the startup load for the compressor that can really kill them. So I plugged in my 6000 BTU window air conditioner and I turned it on. Everything seemed to be running fine until I looked at the display and realized just the fan was running. The garage is too cold, it's about 45 degrees, but I wanted to do a real test so I hooked up a heater to blow hot air right into the air conditioner so the compressor would fire. And hopefully you could hear that, but that was the compressor turning on, and I can assure you this drew a lot more than 300 watts. If you try plugging in an air conditioner to most battery generators, it'll usually cause them to fail or to trip some type of an overload, but it passed that test just fine. Now I wanted to test all the outlets and then try to overload the unit to see how it would react. So I hooked up a 1500 watt electric heater along with a 250 watt heater and a small electric heat gun. But once these were connected I went ahead and connected this industrial heat gun, draws about 1800 watts by itself and caused the unit to overload which is exactly what it should do. But to reset it all you need to do is shut the unit off and turn it back on. So I passed this test just fine and it handled all this exactly how it should. Now I wanted to make sure that you could charge the unit up while you were using power. I get this question all the time so I connected up to my house outlet and now as you can see in the display I'm inputting about 300 watts and I'm outputting 1720. You can actually charge this unit in about 3 hours to 80% capacity. Other notes about the quality of power is that 12 volt outlet is in fact fully regulated which I confirmed with my tester. But additionally the unit uses pure sign technology for the 120 volt ports as well. But I also wanted to check out the USB ports so I connected a series of items into them to make sure that they could charge correctly without any other issues. You also can't help but notice that the design itself is pretty cool. That LED on the side really stands out and if you shut the lights off it looks even better. Many people buy Alienware PCs and I'm sure they'll appreciate this cool design. Now I wanted to test out the solar charging abilities of the Leoc. This is a big deal and with a unit this size you're likely either going to build it in or you'll want to use this thing as your central power station. Here I'm using the 100 watt solar panel from Leoc and it connects easily to the back of the unit using the included plug which is an Anderson power pole type connector. And keep in mind it's a really cloudy day here, it's fall and I live in Massachusetts so we're not getting a lot of sun. But eventually I got some and you can see that I was getting between 20 and 30 watts of input. Now that's not a lot of power and the unit is capable of handling up to 300 watts but this is the best I could do on a day like this. But I still wanted to put it to one more test just to make sure things were working. So I went ahead and connected up my electric heater and I wanted to make sure that the sun could still charge the unit at the same time. And as you can see in the output display, things were working fine, I was still getting 30 watts in with a lot of wattage going out. 
The bottom line is this unit worked. It was super quiet while it was charging, and there's no denying the unit just looks cool, so it's definitely something for your consideration, but mainly because it has so much power and capacity. They're selling the unit right now on Indiegogo, and I've put a link in the top comment and in the description if you're interested for more information. I hope you liked this video, got you to see something you haven't seen before, and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.